Get off the right wheel. Wow. <laughs> How y'all feeling? Not better than me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I um before I say another word, I just want to give honor to my father. Um, and not the one that left me, but the one that never left me. Um it's been my doctor and my lawyer and my provider, and I will always, you know, give him honor. I want every time that this gets replayed for him to get the glory. So I really should do a little praise dance right now, <laughs> but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just so honored to be here um, and for him to see it fit, for me to see another day and, and to you know, be here on this platform. Um, I also want to go right into thanking uh, the, our owner and management team, our chairman, Nelson Gerard. There he is. I'm grateful to you for seeing value in what others thought to throw away. And we fight a lot, but that's what you do when it's with something that you love. So we appreciate you, Nelson. And also to my, to my buddy, Prashad Tafazoli, our president. He has such a heart for the people. Mike Gilbert, COO, coming through the ranks. We appreciate everything you do. Corporate staff, all of you all and what you guys do. A special, special thanks. To our liaison, uh, Jamie Hanselman, Natasha Stevens, her title's too long. I don't know what, I don't, the, this, she's really like important. I don't know her title. <laughs> but she makes things happen all the time. You, I'm so grateful to you, Natasha, for what you helped me accomplish. And I have to give a special thanks to Tina Marie Turner. She has been my liaison as an SVP since 2012. And she is just, I mean, you're just a gem. And I just, I'm so grateful to you as well. And, and also Will Torres for all of just the special, just, just always just being encouraging. You guys are just absolutely amazing. Um, my mentors and leaders, people that have paved the way before me, I have to give homage to those who, you know, who made it possible. You know, Lisa Cloud, I'm not sure where she is. Lisa, you made it possible that, you know, it can happen. Everyone in the room is in her downline, just so you know. <laughs> and, um, and we're forever grateful to you for what you planted, but also what you remain to water. So thank you. And of course, that extends over to, to Sheena Anderson, just being the absolute rock star and queen that you are and just holding it down and, 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 and being the first at things. She always is, she's like our Beyonce, you know. So we love you, right? Um, my peer mentors and confidants, the Keys, Platinum Senior Vice President, I love you guys. Jovens, Moncure out of New York. This guy has a piece of paper that says contractions. <laughs> He's the worst. <laughs> he wants me to have my baby like right now. <laughs> True peer mentor to me, someone that has come up in the ranks. I remember when he was a national director, I used to walk around and carry his bags and do open up the room for him. And you know, it, it's, it means a lot to be able to call myself a title that you got to so gracefully. So Daryl Huckabee, I thank you for all of the conversations. He talks me off the fence more than y'all know. <laughs> all right. Um, my leaders, uh, many of them couldn't be here. But I have to give honor to my very best friend uh, and my first national director, who was national director before me. Y'all know what that means, right? <laughs> Luther Flip Jenkins. I know you're watching. And I'm grateful to, you know, to everything that you brought to the organization. He was like really my first leader that took me in a lot of uh, different markets. And that's what one person can do. And he made me believe that I could do this business. Uh, and I, he truly was, you know, a person that I could be like the imperfect leader to him. And he, he was really gracious in that. And it led me to my first SVP, and he ended up becoming my second. As you guys know, it's Thomas Felder, who is now platinum, who broke records. That's how I ended up getting the moniker Coach K, because of him. <laughs> and um, 
and we just have made waves together. You know, it only takes one person to come into your business to change the entire trajectory of what can happen. And he has led from behind. And Thomas, I'm grateful to you um, for everything that you do. He has been such an inspiration to even all the, all the other leaders who have been here before him, who taught him. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, there's no doubt in my mind that he'll, he'll, he'll be diamond. And I'm gonna be right there with you, wherever you go, I'm gonna be. <laughs> and then of course our newly promoted senior race president, Vincent Ecuman. So gracious for him, you know, for seeing value and sticking it through with us. Um, so happy for you. And I wanted to save this one guy for last. You know, they say uh, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. There's a guy who I actually didn't mention um, in, my, in my SVP speech just because I just didn't write it down. <laughs> I get nervous. Um, but this is a true brother to me. And he's an unparalleled leader. And it's amazing what God will put in your life when you feel like other things are taken away. And Tupac, you, um, God is always just using you. You know, he allows me to love on his kids and his family, his mom. And it's just not, it's not business. And that's why people, that's, people don't get it. You know, it is personal because we're fighting for our lives. We're fighting to make sure that we have a life that's different than what was given us. And when I watch him be a father, you wouldn't know that his father left him. When I watch you be a leader in this organization. He don't complain, he just do it. He, I mean, all of y'all businesses grow. This man is gonna be on tour. He's not gonna go home. And we just owe you so much. I love you so much. Thank you for believing in me. And there's the, okay. The last but not least, you know, I have a picture in my home that says walk as if you have three men walking behind you. Y'all see what I got going on back here, right? <laughs> it's a new guy behind me now. Uh-oh. Um, this cake I, had, I've, I got going on here has been baking for 10 years. It'll be my 10 year anniversary in 10 days. And a cake isn't all together until that icing comes on. So I wanna introduce y'all to my icing. <laughs> he came in my life right when I had kinda lost my smile and my heartbeat and he gave it back so intensely that <laughs> I got one within me now. <laughs> Thank you for making my dream come true to be a mommy. I love you. <sighs> all right. I don't, I've lost all my time thanking you guys. <laughs> And I know uh, there's a lot of the, the stuff you guys remember from the SVP speech of break you to bless you, but my life from SVP going forward reminds me of the story of Job in the Bible who had been so, just so blessed. And he was tested because Satan wanted to have a contest with God and said, man, I'm telling you, Job only honors you because you, you give him everything, you bless them. Take that stuff away, I bet you, bet you he'll forsake you. And that's how I felt at SVP. I, saw, I helped so many people and I gave so much and I believed so much, but it was the time when I thought, what about me? I want it too. I, I, I want to give too. And I want to have. And I'm reminded of everything that was taken from Job and that's what I felt like was taken. We lost so much. But never did I forsake God. Never did I forsake this business. Never did I stop believing that this thing works and that it can work for us and 
my message to you guys, to the person who's out there questioning it. I'm telling you, Satan is doing a contest with God. And he just wants to see what's in your heart. God is not interested in your ambition. He's interested in your service. And this company is built on serving other people. And if we just help enough people, everything you want will come. And at the end, you will get double for your trouble. I promise you that. I want you guys to remember that we have the absolute premier package to offer. There's no shortage of what we have to offer people. And, but our number one product will always be the opportunity. We had a Wakanda party last night. Ooh. And every time I leave a Nationals, I feel like I'm in Wakanda, that, that I'm here with soldiers and, and armies of people. And th th what was so amazing about last night that I want you guys to think about is that it's a future that seems like it's not real. We're building something that's not yet real. We can build a future where people don't need unemployment and people are not diabetic anymore. And we can build a future where people can, you know, do whatever it is that they want to do. We can build our own Wakanda, y'all. Who's with me on that? It's gonna take hard work, but I know we can do it. This is just the beginning. I'm so happy to be up here because soon to be platinum did not have a cab. <laughs> And so I'm so gracious to join the ranks with you guys. And let's take this to the next level. Who's with me? <laughs> I'm Camelia Collier Mullen, Coach K. And I'm a Platinum Senior Vice President, y'all. <laughs> I'm a doctor, sir.